Adding mechanical equipment is easier than it sounds. The biggest problem isn't how we add it, it's where we add it. Remember, we're using a 3D program now. We can't just start placing equipment and other components on the ground. We'll need it up in the air above the ceilings. Let's get started and jump into Revit. I have my mechanical project open. The first thing I'd like to do is let's go to the Annotate tab. And then let's go to our project browser, Mechanical HVAC Ceiling Plans Level 1. Let's zoom in on this area here. The problem is we don't know how high these ceilings are. On the Annotate tab, let's click on Spot Elevation. If I hover over this, we'll see we have 8 feet, or in metric, it's 2438 millimeters. That's good to know. We don't need to place this in. We're just going to kind of hover over these areas here. 8 feet. Hit Escape a couple times. Now, let's go to the Systems tab. Let's find the Mechanical panel. Let's click Mechanical Equipment. The Properties, let's click the drop down here. Let's find Size 2 10 inch inlet or 254 millimeters. We can't see it. We need to move it up 10 feet or 30, 48 millimeters. So let's click on elevation from level. Notice that we can swing this over and look at it. Bring it back. I'm just going to type in 10 and hit enter. And here it is. Notice now when we go to place it, we can hit our space bar a few times and rotate it. It's hard to tell which orientation I'd want it in. So if we rotate it around, I think maybe this way, I'll put it in right here, like this. Perfect. Hit escape a couple times. Okay, we've got this in. Let's put a rooftop unit in. In the project browser under mechanical HVAC, let's go up to our roof level by double clicking on roof. Let's go to insert. Let's click on load family. I'm in my U.S. Imperial folder, but if you click the drop down, notice you can go back to libraries, go to your region, go to U.S. Imperial or U.S. Metric. I'll use U.S. Imperial. I'm going to scroll down to Mechanical, MEP, Airside Components, Air Handling Units, and I'll grab Outdoor AHU Horizontal RFA. Let's click Open. We haven't placed it in yet, but one thing I want to do is I want to see where that VAV unit is. Let's scroll down in our properties till we find View Range. Notice that it's grayed out. It's okay. Let's scroll down till we find View Template. Click Mechanical. Let's select None. Let's click OK. Now notice View Range is editable. So click Edit. For the bottom, let's go Unlimited. For the view depth, let's go unlimited. Click apply. Click OK. Boy, we can see everything now, huh? Now let's go to systems. Let's go to mechanical equipment. Here's our AHU. It doesn't quite line it up, but that's okay. We can line it up manually. I'm just going to put it like right about here. Hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to type AL. Or, if we go to the Modify tab, we can click the Align button here. The first item I want to select is going to be the mechanical equipment, so I'm going to pick this little point here. Now, I'm just going to align the center line of my mechanical equipment, and it nudges it down a little bit. It's going to make it easier when I draw my duct down and over. So let's do one more thing. I want to cut a section right through here, just so we can see what we're doing. So on the View Control toolbar, let's click on Section. I'd like to click a section right through here like that. Let's drag our extents back just a little bit. Hit escape a few times. Now let's double click on the section to open it up. Got a long way to go, but that's okay. Here's our VAV unit here. Plenty of room above the ceiling. Here's our AHU way up here. Notice that it's kind of into the roof. So let's select our AHU unit. An elevation from level, let's push it up 12 inches or 305 millimeters. We could put curbing or something underneath that, but we'll leave it at that elevation for now. Hit escape a few times. Go back to level one ceiling plan. We're all set. That's how you add mechanical equipment.